You're just new to WordPress and you're trying lots of things on your website, but you realize I wish I could just start over fresh and new. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your WordPress installation back to the way it was when you first installed WordPress. Here I am on my WordPress website and it's got a lot of stuff that I want to get rid of. I have images, I have blog posts, I have pages, I have plugins active and I just want to wipe it all out. The first step is to log into your WordPress website and go over to where it says media. I'll go ahead and select that option. And here we see a list of all the images we've added to our website. Right now they're displaying in a grid, but we want to change this to be in a list format by clicking right here. Over to the right, you see that I have 139 images on this website and it's breaking them down into lists of pages. And there's a total of seven pages here of images that I need to get rid of. So I can click on this box right here and it's going to choose all the images on this page. I'll go to this drop down. I'll choose delete permanently and then click on apply. I'll get this confirmation and I'll click OK. Now you can see I have 119 images and it's now one page less. So I'm going to follow this process for the next six pages until all my images are gone. Now, as you can see, all my images are gone. Most likely your site will have a lot less images than mine does. So that part of this process will be a lot faster for you. Next, we're going to add a free plugin to our site in order to reset the database that powers our website. We're going to go over to plugins. We'll click on add new. And here in the type right, we're going to search for the plugin advanced database reset. There are several plugins that are here for free that do this function. I've tried them all and many of them add advertising and added complexities to this task, which should be very simple. So the best one that I found is advanced WordPress reset right here in the middle. I'll click on install now and now I'm going to click on activate. Now that the plugin is on our site, there's going to be new menu option under tools. I'll hover over here to the left and you can see this new option here that says advanced WP reset. Let's go ahead and select that. It's important to understand that if you go through this process right here, this is permanent. Everything that you've done on this website is going to be completely wiped out and reset. I just want to make sure that you fully understand that before we move forward. Now to reset the database, all we have to do is click right here and enter the word reset. Now that I've done that, all I have to do is click where it says reset database. Now it might look like nothing has been done, but it has reset your database. The moment you go to try to click anywhere else on your WordPress website, it's going to kick you out and you're going to need to log back in. So I'll click on dashboard and you see it took me to the login page where I have to put my login in again. Now that I'm logged back in, you can see my website is completely reset. If I click on posts, you'll see that there's no blog posts except the default blog post when you first install WordPress. The same goes for pages. When I click on that, it's just the default privacy policy and sample page that comes with WordPress. When I click on appearance, I need to activate the theme that I was using and it's this theme right here. I'll click on activate. Lastly, I'll click on plugins. Now the process we just went through didn't delete your plugins. It just deactivated them. So if you want to delete any of those plugins right now is the time to do it. So I no longer need this advanced reset plugin. So I'm going to deactivate that. Now I'm going to check this box to select all my plugins right here. I'm going to choose delete and then click on apply. And then I'll confirm this by clicking OK. You can see every plugin that was installed has now been deleted. Right now your website has been completely reset to how it was when you first got started. But right now I think is the best opportunity to add a backup plugin and take an initial backup. So in the future, if you want to reset, you can just restore that backup. Let me show you how to do that. We're again going to go over to plugins and choose add new. And from here, we're going to search for the plugin WP Vivid Backup. The exact spelling would be WP Vivid without a space in the middle. It's the first option that appears here. I'll click on install now. And now I'm going to click on activate. WP Vivid is a completely free backup plugin that allows you to backup your website locally as well as to some offsite storage such as Dropbox or your Google Drive. 
It adds a new menu option that you see here on the left underneath settings. So now what I'm gonna do is choose what I want to back up and I want to have the default selection database plus files. Then right here to where I want it to back up, I'm gonna have it back up locally. However, if you want to back this up to Google Drive or Dropbox or any of these various options that they provide, you'll first wanna click on remote storage and set that up. But for me, I just want to back this up locally. Check this box right here that says this backup cannot be automatically deleted. That is when you have automatic backups happening on a schedule. It will get rid of old backups in place of new backups, but we want to keep this fresh default installation backup. So now I'm going to click on the backup button right here. And this backup should take just a few seconds because it's a fresh WordPress installation. Okay, that took about seven seconds. Now when I scroll down, I have a backup right here. So in the future, if I want to reset my WordPress website, I can click right here where it says restore and it will restore it to exactly the state that it is right now. This is gonna be better than what we just went through that process because it will automatically remove those images from your media library for you. Plus the added benefit is you'll now have a backup for your website. The only remaining piece of advice I'd give you is to click right here where it says schedule and enable a backup schedule so your site always has backups and you'll never have to worry if something happens to your website what you'll end up doing then. That's it for this tutorial. What did you think? I could really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have questions, you can ask down below. If you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking onto the notification bell for future videos like this that'll be custom tailored just for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.